All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to look at Ethereum Classic here, if I can get this fib drawn here. So Ethereum Classic is at the 200-day moving average like a lot of the other coins and tokens out there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There you go. So you're getting stuck at the 382, waking up to the moving average here and getting stuck there. So 2267, this 2260 level is the price to beat on Ethereum Classic. Um, so we'll measure the upside first. Yes, you hear the thunder in the background. It is storming here. Um, so from where you are right now, about a 2.5%, not even quite 25 to 2260. Then the moving average about a 6% move away up here to about 2355. Those are your two big prices to beat there. You really need to get over the moving average to maintain your push up. If you can get past the moving average, 25, 90, pretty much 26 is your next stop for about a almost 17% move. But first, you really need to get over the moving average here at about 23. So just watch those prices to the upside on Ethereum Classic. Uh, it looks like you're holding support with the moving averages down here. So it looks like it has the push to go higher, even though the RSI is kind of in the middle here, kind of just bouncing and going sideways. Uh, the MACD, you can see there, is going sideways also. It's still in bullish territory, but it's kind of curled down and going sideways. So it's struggling to get over this this moving average, the 200-day moving average here at this 382. So that's your huge price to beat on Ethereum Classic. If you get past that, then it's probably going to uh, flip um, a little bit bullish just for the fact that it's such heavy resistance here. Uh, and if you pull back, like I said, you should hold the moving averages at about 21 to about 19. But if you come back down here to 19, 20 and you lose that price level, then you know that that's the top and this thing's going to drop back down here to the bottom at about $14. So we'll just measure that. If you end up losing this uh, $21, $19 level, then you're probably going to come back down here to the bottom at about 33 or 33% and drop down to 14 and a half there. So just watch those couple of prices on Ethereum. Like I said, kind of it's kind of pushing higher, but it's kind of getting stuck. The indicators are just kind of going sideways. So we'll see if these things start pushing higher or coming back down. Yeah, the same thing here on the Heikinashi candles as in the other updates I've done on the day. Heikinashi's kind of, the trend is kind of slowing down. So everything's just kind of stuck. So everything's waiting for BTC. And that's going to depend on where the market goes from here. So with that said, not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.